Okay guys, welcome back to Engineers Academy. Do subscribe my channel if you haven't subscribed it yet. Now we are going to solve this problem from chapter 10 which says determine the moment of inertia for this area about the y axis. The moment of inertia about the y axis will be equal to the x squares times dA. As I have told you people, if you people want to find the moment of inertia about the y axis, then this will be x square. And if this is the moment of inertia about the x axis, then this will be y square. But this formula is only applicable when your uh, differential strip or differential area is parallel to the y axis is about which you people want to find the moment of inertia. Now to find the moment of inertia about the y axis is, and using this formula we, we are compelled to define our area parallel to the y axis. Is. So now this is my differential area which is parallel to the y axis is, and the reason for this formula is that the area the each and every element of that differential strip need to be uh, equidistant from that y axis. Is. So if we divide if we define our differential area from the y axis is parallel to the y axis is, then each and every element of this dA is, is at a distance of x from this origin or from the y axis. Is. So now this, this differential area is located at a distance of x and its width is, let me write that this is located at a distance of x and its width is small change in x, this is dx. So this is width and this is height and this is the height of this dA, this differential strip and that height is defined by this curve and this curve is defined by y of x1 function. So this will be equal to y, whatever y value at this particular point is that will be the height of this dA. So now we can write that dA will be equal to this width times the height so that is y times dx right so now we can write that this i of y this is equal to x squares times dA and dA is y times dx x square times dA this is the moment of inertia of this differential strip about the y axis is. so and this integration means that we need to aid up the uh, moment of inertia of all those differential strips from x equals to 0 until x equals to a. So we have to define uh, multiple areas from x equals to 0 until x equals to a and then we have to add up the moment of inertia of, of all those differential strips from x equals to 0 until x equals to a. So that will give us the moment of inertia of this uh, bounded area about the y axis. So now we have to add up all the diff, uh, moment of inertia from x equals to 0 until x equals to a since the integration is also with respect to x so we have to put the limits of x so the limits of x are from x equals to 0 until x equals to a so we have to integrate this from x equals to 0 until x equals to a so now the integration is with respect to x so we have to write this y in terms of x and y in terms of x is equal to b divided by a to the power n x to the power n. So now I have to write this is from x equals to 0 until x equals to a x square and now this is y so we have to write this is b divided by a to the power n x to the power n into dx. So now we can write this is i y and now if I multiply this we can write this constant outside of integration so this is b divided by a to the power n and this is from 0 to a and this is x square into x square into x to the power n dx. So now this is if we multiply both of this so the power will add up right so we can write that this will become 2 plus n. So now this is b divided by a to the power n and this is x to the power and we can integrate this so if I integrate this so this will be x to the power 2 plus n plus 1. So we will add 1 to this power, right? So that will be, this will become 3 plus n. So this is 3 plus n. 
and we have to divide it by this same power which is 3 plus n or we can write that this is n plus 3 this is n plus 3 let me write it like this and now the limits are from x equals to 0 until x equals to a so now if i put these limits this is b divided by a to the power n this is a to the power n plus 3 divided by n plus 3 and if we put 0 so everything will become 0 so this will be this term minus 0 so now this is b and we can split this a this is a n plus 3 this is equal to a to the power n into a to the power 3 so we can write this as a to the power n into a to the power 3 and this will cancel out so this will be a, a to the power 3 into b a to the power 3 into b divided by n plus 3 so this is the moment of inertia of this given area about the y axis so this is the solution of this particular problem i hope it will help you in your learning let me know in the comment section if it helps in your learning also subscribe my channel if you haven't subscribed it yet